Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all you new subscribers. Thank you guys for stopping in on the Outboard channel where we try and have a lot of boatsy, boatsy outboard stuff fun. Except, um, I had to put a little bit of pause in the outboard fun. Couple reasons why. The first reason was I did not have this. A five and one half base to leg uh, power head to base gasket. I didn't have one, so I had to order one. I got it. I got it. Then I had a little bit of a, um, well, I wouldn't say tragedy, but I had a little bit of an unexpected event happen right here. As you can see, there's some things missing behind me. There's some big holes in the wall. My sign, my Johnson sign. Remember my little sh shelf? Well, my little workbench right here was also a chest freezer that I had stainless steel on top of. Well, that freezer up and <coughs> died. So, anyway... Since I have to get that freezer out of here, I thought, well, this, might as well take care of this. So, um, I'm kind of deciding what I'm going to do with all of this, 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 this. Should I put a bench, a workbench that maybe rolls on casters? Boom! Should I build some shelves, take all this down, center it? I'm going to repair all the sheetrock, paint all this. But I wanted to work on that little bitty 5 and one half cutie. So, but this is putting a little bit of a damper on it. And you know what I think that is? That's... Warning, warning, bullshit alert. That's what I think. My freezer died. Then I had to transfer all of them. Bullshit detected. Take precautions. Take precautions when your freezer dies and your freezer happens to be your your workbench. That ain't fun. Here's kind of what it looked like.
As you can see, it is a mess. That's where the old freezer slant bar, what I use mostly as a workbench, goes. Now I'm going to clean all this mess up. I'll have to do the sheet rocking and repair and get rid of a lot of well, I ain't going to say get rid of, but reorganize, build some shelving. The old freezer died. And uh, so I'm just getting this area cleaned up over here so I can get reorganized so forth.
Well, I kind of uh, see the oil on the bucket there, on the tire. You can't see it, but it's everywhere. Um, I blew a hydraulic hose, so that kind of put it into me filling up the old scrap wagon. But anyway, I don't know if you could tell it in the video, but I got a face full of hydraulic fluid spray a couple of times from the old burst bucket hose. It's the hose that tilts the bucket down and up. And she popped, squirted me with a face full of hydro fluid. And that sucked. Well, here's some of the other stuff I had to do. You see my lamp up there? My outdoor light? I built that. I don't know what that top was. It was on some spinny thing. So I painted the top side of it green, installed a uh, outdoor light socket, bought a special light bulb that is motion activated, and it's the light bulb itself that's motion activated not the uh not the unit just the bulb but then i took some copper and brass fittings and i made a lamp i still got to get up under there right up under there i'm going to get a um some kind of little white plate that something i can cut plastic and then get a couple stainless steel self-tappers and cover up that square hole I cut so it looks more professional but I got just some regular copper pipe going into the plate on the wall that was all rotten and so I had to get that done before the snow came it was just it was just hanging up there by the wires the tin one that was up there just rotted off it came out okay it'll work Well, this wasn't really supposed to happen, but we've had one of the coldest summers, rainiest coldest, but during if that old plum tree didn't get a bunch of plums on it, I don't think they'll ever ripen. Um, most of them I think will just turn brown and fall to the ground, but they're there. They're about the size of little green olives right now. Hopefully you can see some in there. Um, I, I didn't expect that. But there's, there's a couple right there. More over there and up there. There's, there's quite a few, really. So the old plum tree, it's trying to plum. And boy, I wish it all the luck in the world. Ain't nothing better than a bunch of little half-ripe plums with a salt shaker. Yummy. A few more raspberries. Yeah, I get an I'll get a bowl, a small bowl of raspberries out of there. I got some black currants too. I can get a good mixed berry bowl going for my oatmeal. For sure. You can see right there and right there where the deer come through. So the deer been nibbling at the berries. Yeah. Not not wide enough nor big enough to be a bear, so that's a sick of blacktail. A couple of them come in there munching on the berries. Good for them. Well, um It's been a rough couple of weeks, things breaking and tearing up and then the weather starting, it, it got down to 40, or excuse me, 34 degrees earlier this morning. So I got about two degrees to go before I have to unhook the water hoses and drain them. And, and it's a coming. So I um, wanted to get another load or two out to the heap uh, before the snow blocks me in and all that. I, I'd still like to get more of them, but I gotta take care of that hydraulic hose and I 
and missing one fitting from making the hose that I had on hand work. So, got to do that. Got to get the little ramrod up and running because that's how I, that's what it, I use that machine for my uh, snow plow as well, for snow removal. So, I got to get that. Um, my freezer decided to go. I bought a new one. I haven't even unboxed it yet. But before I do that, I got some sheet rocking and painting to do and do and do and on and on. You know the drill. Um, yeah, so, and on top of that, I got people wanting their outboards and chainsaws and zubba dibba 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 do. So, we'll get to it, but uh, this is just a short video I wanted to throw out there and let you know why I ain't showed up in the last week or so is because I just been uh, doing so much getting ready for winter and then on top of that things just keep you know like always breaking so did an oil change on some of my vehicles needed to get that done just things getting ready for the the snow that's coming so I had to had to take a little break and get that done so um, be doing a giveaway for a nice t-shirt here in the next video or two um, and to the uh, guy that won the uh, ball cap, it's on its way. You should get that any day now. Congratulations to you. And we'll get some stuff like that going and get back on that little five and one half. I did have to order some parts for that. They came in. But right now I don't even have a workbench because I used my chest freezer. I had it trimmed with all with stainless steel and everything. And so now i got to build a little workbench to put back there. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking, along the lines of, I'll build the workbench, a little smaller than that freezer, and I'm going to put it on caster so I can move it around in there. What do you think? And if you've watched my videos for any amount of time at all, you know I cannot cut a square board when it comes to woodworking. It ain't me, it ain't me, I ain't the fortunate one. Nope, it ain't me. <laughs> I, I'm not a woodworker. So uh, for somebody, you know, for most of you guys, you'd be like, I'll throw that workbench out in about 10 minutes. Nope, nope, that ain't me. That won't happen, that's an all day project. <laughs> I don't think I'll film, I'll film the finished product. That'll be about it, but um, I got a buddy, Charlie. Um, he's, He's a, a really good woodworker, so um, he's going to be busy for a little bit, but hopefully he can help me out with that. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking of putting it on casters where I can move it around and film from both sides. And, and you know, you guys look around in my shop. You've seen it in, in my videos. If you think you got other thoughts on something I should do or whatever. But I got a couple buds that are pretty, pretty good wood guys. Um, Another friend of mine, Jay, was just telling me how I should mount that little bullet vise. He and he pointed out something like the edge of the vise when closed, if you're, it has to be out to the flush or a little past the flush of the edge of the workbench. It's because if not, you can't stand something tall up in it and cl clamp it. And I, I would have never thought of that. I just, it ain't me. It ain't me. <laughs> so, anyway, just a video to, to kind of update you on what's going on around the shop. And uh, hopefully things will quit tearing up my breaking and I can get things put back together and we can get some good outboard fun videos on. Get, get them up. So, um, yeah, we'll get back on that little five and one half cutie. And get that thing put back together. Then I've got a Johnson 30 here, a customer once done up and then I've got a Yamaha 15 and then I've got a few chainsaws and a generator and a and a and a so yeah and as always with this little shop here you never know what's going to show up here so that's going to be a wrap on this one as always that is one more hack from Cody thanks for watching more vids are coming on Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.